arena is very close to the forest. And uh, as you can see, Korea now 2-1 up after having won the first men's singles, but they uh, lost the second. And we've just seen the men's doubles very convincingly in two straight games. The next match up is Yon Yuk Jin of Korea against uh, Alex Lanye. And that's going to be a very, very interesting match. The first player coming on to court will be uh, Yon Yuk Jin. And uh, a very surprise inclusion into the Korean team in my book. He's not been playing much badminton over the past few years, but he has been as high as number 17 on the world run ranking. So a little bit of a dark horse coming on to court. He is up against the only 16-year-old Alex Langier. He was very, very impressive yesterday or two days ago when I saw him play against Denmark. He played Rasmus Gemke and that was a very, very hard fought match that uh, Lanier only lost 22-20 in the third and final game. Once again, head to head, no matches previously between these two players. Greg, your choice. You, sir, you stay on my right. Good luck. So uh, Lani won the toss and chose to serve. And uh, his opponent, Yong Yok Yin, chose ends. Yuk Jin is 26 years of age, 177 centimetres tall. And uh, as you can see, the ranking, please don't look at that. It's due to the fact that he's just got one tournament played and uh, actually he has not played any tournaments in 2019 plus 2020 only played one tournament this year and that was when he was selected at the Sudema Cup in Finland so uh, can't really read much into that but he has been as high as number 17 on the world ranking and that was in 15th of March 2018 his opponent from France is just 16 years of age and what a prospect he is for France. Very, very quick on his legs. And he is the under 17 European junior champion. Only 193 on the world ranking so far and is based on eight tournaments. And you need at least to get to 10 tournaments to have a true reflection of your world ranking as your 10 best results. Are counting. He's been one week as number 188 and that was on the 31st of August this year. Umpire is uh, Schroeder of Germany and uh, the service judge is Rajiv of India. Yon Yuk Jin played against Germany in the first match. Korea played against Germany and he won against Matthias Kicklitz in two games, 21-18, 21-7. So as he was settling in, he became much, much more confident on court.
Perfect smash down the line. Very aggressive start from Yun Yuk Jin. He's won one, two Grand Prix gold tournaments and one Grand Prix and that was before 2018 on this Super Series system. And as I told you, not been playing 2019 and 20 and just one tournament in 21. I haven't seen him for quite a while, I have to say. placement of that smash, reverse smash. Oh, Alex Long Yip. Won the, the Lithuanian International this year. That was his first senior title. He was just 16 years and 138 days old. That was a feast. That was a very, very fine performance from the young Frenchman. But I think he is up against a very, very good player from Korea. Excellent start from Yun Yuk Jin. out. Oh, nothing happened. I was scared for a second that he was rolling over his angle. But luckily he's perfectly okay. Yeah, that was well read by the Korean. He knew that was coming cross court. Good anticipation. And perhaps we already now starting to see how this match is going to pan out because Lang Yi will find it extremely difficult to penetrate the defense of Yung Yuk Jin. Yeah, that's better. Good smash down the line. So it's over. Um, good for long year to One, get onto the scoreboard. Six. One six.
Kitchen playing with very, very good length on his shots. And it's very easy to see that uh, Alex Longyear is finding it very difficult to attack from the back of the court because of that good length from his opponent. Keep his cool, gotta keep patient, waiting for his chances. I think uh, in this case, if you look at it from Alex Lumley's point of view, patience is the virtue. Cannot afford to make mistakes like that. Got to keep them in. Very strong defence on the body. Your chin really, really well played. Liked how he defended his body. And despite quite a number of chances for Alex, he couldn't put it away. That earlier, it's got to stay patient. Yeah. Yeah, he saw it all the way, followed it all the way. Your New York Jin, very, very comfortable. 11-4 up at the interval. Just nine minutes of play. Lovely, lovely spinning net shot from Alex Lanier. Really nicely played. Look at how it's spinning. And uh, just very, very tight to the net. And this is an area players really have to be good at. In front of the court, at the net, if you want to be a top class men's singles player. Called in, but we have a challenge from Yuan Yukjin. It's called in on the back line. Uh, 
uh, on the line, waits to challenge. That's too short. Cannot afford that. Lovely, lovely shot. Crisp. Good angle. Steep. Found the gap perfectly. placement but it must be very frustrating for Alex Lanier as he is attacking and attacking and the defense of his opponent is just holding up the whole time always have an answer and then as soon as he's lifting the attack is coming the other way and then his defense not as strong as his opponent Yeah, that's a lovely turn. Really turning his opponent very nicely here. Shot also clipping the top of the tape. Oh, call a fault and the net. He read it so well. Great anticipation. But the umpire from Germany, let's have a look at it here. Yeah, I think it's a good call. I'm not sure that shot was played on his own side. Once again, that cross of the net. And great quality in being able to play a spinning net shot back on a spinning net shot. One of the qualities you need to have as a top end singles player.
perfect balance, nevertheless missed it. A little shake of his head, understandable. saw in the match when Alex Lanier was playing Rasmus Gimkit of Denmark. He loves to cover the cross court smashes but the straight ones he is not as good at. I think it's mostly because he's so used to play. Yeah, sorry to say junior badminton where a lot of Crosses are coming the whole time, and then suddenly now he has to readjust his game and cover all the straight ones as well. And that's a little bit of a tall order when you're only 16. But he's got very, very fast legs, and he's he's doing extremely well already now on the senior circuit here, just 16 years of age. Lots of potential. needs to develop winning shots really based on his fast legs and the immense pace he can bring into the game. racket couldn't hold on to the handle yeah, look at that and young Yuk Jin just got it that back very comfortably yeah. eight game points 20 game point 12 open game very comfortably looking very confident as well 19 minutes 21 12 experienced player from Korea from New York Jin 26 years of age and been as high as number 17 on the world ranking Second game. 
in the Upton. Serving after having won the Open game 21 12 in comfortable style. And here we saw some of the problems for Alex Lanyi. He said he cannot put it away, even though he was going very, very fast on this approach. Shot to the net, still came back. Good surprise, attacking clear cross court. And then a nice follow up. Only up in, not the fastest of uh, men's singles players I've seen, but uh, very steady, good control, cool head. Good variation rather than going for the big smash. This was a half smash. Injury. Yok Jin is bleeding from his knee, and we need the referee and doctor onto court. Needs to be treated immediately. Very minute. And normally when you stick a plaster onto it, it will not last very long. played every three years. In 1984 it changed to become a biannual event and Indonesia has actually won this tournament, the Thomas Cup, an impressive 13 times but have to mention that they haven't won since 2002. They are followed by uh, the defending champions from China who has won the tournament 10 times. So there's a fierce battle between the two nations. And Denmark won their first Thomas Cup ever. 
after many, many, many attempts in 2016. So that was a little bit of information in regards to the Thomas Cup. Very prestigious tournament. So we are ready to commence again. Yeah, very nice spinning shot, net shot from Lang Yip. And it's a good start for him, 4 1 up. And suddenly, a complete change of momentum. Six one up. Seems like this man has lost his mojo a little bit. Seven. Lost a few rallies around the net, so perhaps he's pushing them away from the net for a little while. Stays in. Four, seven. Even the pace of Alex Lanier couldn't get to that. Good quality in that backhand drive, cross court. mistakes as what he did in the opening game. But sometimes they just creep in the mistakes like that on a very, very simple shot.
short of the service line. Called out. Oh. Kind of returned the favour. Alex Lanier. Too, but not only trying to look at where it's landing, it's not only wide but desperately short off the black back line as well. Yeah, down the centre. Play safe. Suddenly there's just one point in it. Change between the two players. A wonderful cross there. It's called in. And all back to square one. All level. Yeah, definitely in. Nine all. opponent when you chin based on misjudgment placement and after a bad start in the second game Yun Yuk Jin definitely back in the driver's seat 11-9 into the interval just 15 minutes of play Serve 11-9. Yeah, 
good shot down the line from the Korean. That push straight down the line. It's not an easy shot to play. from his coach. Come on, you can do it. That's long with the back line, I cannot afford that. After the interval, it's gone the Korean way. 
Yeah, just needed the one. 21-9 in the second game to Yong Yuk Jin after the career, which brings the tie to 3-1 in favour of a career. Here we got the confirmation, 21-12, 21, 12, 21 9 in just about 40 minutes. Very, very fine performance. And a little bit of a dark horse in the third singles in the overall competition, this Korean player. Korea having two good doubles. A strong first and singles. But this third singles is really looking very, very good. And here we have match point. Yeah, that's going into the net. Quite simple. And the next match coming up is the first men's doubles, which is the fifth and final match in the tie between Korea and France. Denmark for the Thomas and Uber Cup 2020. The uh, next match coming up is our fifth and final match in the Thomas Cup tie in Group B between Korea and France. It's uh, the first men's doubles 